Good morning and happy new year, everybody. It's going to be a weird month. Let's just, you know, call it diamond to diamond. That's the phrase, right? Let's call it heart to heart. It's going to be a weird month. Obviously, because uh, we have no Corbin, no Cody. And uh, that is because he has a baby on the way. So uh, I will be, I'll be solo queuing podcasting this month. This is a solo ranked podcast. Um, and it's, it's fine because, you know, podcasting is a lot like Fortnite. It just, if, you could, if you could for a minute. It's a lot like Fortnite. You know, you're just kind of running around opening little crates and you're hoping you're hoping for weapons, but in this case it's like, ooh, is this a legendary uh uh comedy clip about gypsy woes? It's kind of like that. You know, you open up a case of things and you're like, okay, what do we got here? Uh gypsy rose. Then that's it. Gypsy Rose and then whoever else is on the Epstein docs. Then you got some TikToks. A Gypsy Rose story for a podcaster as a Fortnite player is like, uh, that's like an epic legendary scar or something, you know? Or I guess in her case, an epic legendary knife. <laughs> Did I stick that one in there? Okay. You didn't see that one coming. Neither did her mom, JK. <laughs> for having fun. For having fun. <laughs> it's for effect. It's for effect, you know. Will it be 45 minutes of this? No. What's up, guys? This is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I should get my RC. The so called flying stalkers. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Uh, this is solo. This is solo ranked. You know, I gotta, I gotta bide my time. I gotta bide in my time. And by that, I mean I'm just gonna stare into the camera and shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Cody's gone, so we're gonna do our best this month. You know, we got some fun guests lined up. It won't just be me talking into a void all the time, but maybe a couple times. It might have to be. And do I do this for two hours? Questionable. It's questionable if we'll have any subscribers after that, you know? But we will have some fun segments planned. We have Gypsy Rose's uh, boyfriend who's currently doing life. We have a Zoom call with him. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a little BTS, a, a little behind-the-scenes uh, documentary. We'll have Gypsy in studio, and uh, we'll have her boyfriend from prison. And, you know, it's going to be they're, – <laughs> they're going to take us behind the creative process. <laughs> <laughs> Look, some of you whites with good parents – not just whites, you know. There are, there are others with good parents, but, you know um, – I think some of you maybe there's a there's a point of relation you don't really relate to about the Gypsy Rose story and I you know I want to shout out everyone who's grown up in a moderate to highly abusive household. Didn't you have a bit of jealousy when you were like so you're telling me I could have killed my mom and been famous? <laughs> you're telling me I could have killed my mom and blew up? Oh. My dad's an alcoholic piece of shit. I'd get, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, you know. 
it's not something you want to do. It's something you think about doing. Hold on. My uh, proctologist is calling. Yes, sir. How's my calling? It's, I mean, it's looking pretty good. You've got a couple pops, but nothing out of the ordinary. For sure. All right. I'll look at the diagram right now. I know we're kind of bouncing around here, you know. But it, 2024 is off to a crazy start, you know. I think this is going to be a really interesting year because uh, we're off with a banger. We don't even know we we don't even know the track list yet for this whole. Uh, that's what everyone says about the Epstein case. They're like they're talking about it like a Kanye album. They keep pushing it back. Um, but if it were a Kanye album, we would get the whole thing unedited. It's a bit of a music joke there. If you're a Kanye fan, you may not like that one. Yeah, so um, I'm I'm curious to know, like, after... Because two weeks in, when you're like, this is the list of pedophiles you all have been waiting for, you know, why this year? They've been holding on to this thing for a minute. Why this year? You know, makes me feel like something scary is planned. <laughs> Can we change the... A location to the Infowar studio. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, man, you know. I it, actually, I want you all to sound off in the comments on who you would, wh who is someone you're hoping is on the list, and then who is someone you'd be massively hurt if they're on the list. <laughs> You know, Ryan, you got anyone you'd be hurt if they're on the list? Reba, I know that would crush you. Garth, <laughs> I don't think Garth is on there, man. I'm not borrowing from Tom. You know, I'm gonna leave that alone. But I don't think Garth's on there. Anyone else? Throw out names. You think someone that that you hope is on the list? Someone you've been had an inkling about, and you're like, I knew it. You want it? Elon, I, th I thought he, I mean, they got photos together. You're hoping Oprah's on there? Yeah. Would be, oh, would be hurt, would be hurt. Didn't she burn down all of Hawaii? I thought that was, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> I said change the location of the InfoWars studio, all right? Okay. Editor, put a big slash S in front of this. This is sarcasm. Call me a rapper the way I dish out this irony. Huh? Anyway, yeah, Epstein list, Gypsy's out. Gypsy's doing the rounds, dude. Er er everyone has her on um, their podcast. <laughs> Gypsy, just word of advice, when you do that much talking, you're prone to say some things you don't mean. So <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at her saying something <laughs> crucially evident on accident <laughs> after doing like four podcasts in a row in New York. She's like, I actually wanted him to shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a, what a, you know, have there, has, have there been... You know, besides like Casey Anthony, have there been any other controversial people like this in recent history that have done this many radio shows, podcasts, you know? Was there like a school shooter? <laughs> they were like, yo, why don't you, yo, why don't you come on down to the bar stool studio? We'll get you on Big Cat. We'll get you on BFFs. And let's talk about. What was going through your mind? Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had Kyle on Fox. <laughs> they had that guy up there. <laughs> Laved up and everything. Wow. Can we publish any of this? <laughs> Okay, let's get to the stuff we can actually use because I've been talking for 20 minutes about stuff that is not usable. Um, it's hard to be yourself when you make media, you know? Because uh, then here comes the advertiser. <laughs> um, 
Dove Soap did not like those Gypsy Rose jokes. <laughs> Wash your mouth with it. <laughs> Dove Soap did not like those jokes I made about Gypsy Rose. That's why I wash my mouth exclusively with Irish Spring. Oh, this is something I can relate to, folks. We want to take a break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Fit Bod. Whenever I'm working out, I think about my essential workout items. Headphones, a podcast about war, my favorite water bottle. But the essential workout needs FitBod. FitBod is a fitness app that creates completely personalized workouts that adapt as you improve. Whether you are a seasoned gym goer or just starting your fitness journey, FitBod will push you to make progress. It's like having your own personal trainer and you can work out anywhere with or without equipment. And it's easy to build a custom fitness plan that works for you. My favorite thing is how helpful it is to plan custom workouts and uh, my personal goals. Uh, for example, one of my personal goals was uh, just be better. And so far I'm doing well with that. Uh, look at this. Ever since using the app, I can do more push-ups. You know, I like to target different muscles, though, you know, chest, back, low back, pelvis, anything that helps me in pickleball, you know. Um, I'll tell you a new, uh, I'll tell you a new technique that I've learned from FitBod. That's uh, the Pendlay row. You, you know, you load up two plates on a barbell, you place it over the middle of your foot, um, and then you row it. Since using FitBod, I feel much more fit, and I'm I'm smiling now when I look in the mirror. Um, you can learn new movements the right way with over a thousand demonstration videos. Add FitBod to your workout essentials. Join FitBod today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription, or try the app free at fitbod.me slash tmg. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash tmg. Other current events, you know, there's that uh, there's that two hour movie about a bomb. Are we talking about Oppenheimer or Joe, or Joe Coy set at the Golden Globes? <laughs> oh my God, my uncle suicided himself up there. <laughs> you hate to see it. Hate to see your family get up in front of the Hollywood elite and they just go, "Hey." <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah. What else? So, yeah, there's that guy in his mangina at the uh, Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, let's pull that up, <laughs> my boy. Where my is, boy. Where is now, obviously, it's blurred, but even if it wasn't, this is not blurred. Uh, I mean, in the footage, we'll have to do a little something. <laughs> But he's out there with his grower. <laughs> and that's what, you know, that's what we hope. <laughs> Collectively, we hope it for him. Now, I think the worst part of this video is I saw a thread. I think it had, oh, man, it was at like 10,000 retweets. It says something to the tune of uh, LMAO. That thing is so small. Ow. <laughs> Fucking Ow. <laughs> Because, you know, you could take the jokes, but really, if he's a little methed out and he wins, isn't he just doing what a lot of Bass Pro shoppers want to do? <laughs> you know? It, I wonder if, in, as a Bass Pro shop shopper, if this guy's a bit of a hero in ways. Just, you know, in that he did, he did what you're not supposed to. He went into the forbidden dunk tank, if you will. Because is there a way we could get the location of this and then get a high-res image of that pond? Because I want to look at it and really proposition everybody. W wouldn't you want to jump in here? You know? Look at look at that. Look at that. Okay? Your stupid family will pay thousands of dollars to go to some resort in Mexico on cartel-owned land. To go down a water slide to go in something like that. And that's fucking expensive. You know? This guy diving the Bass Pro Shop 
pond is maybe a sign of the brutality of this economy. Also, they're kind of asking for it. Isn't isn't that a walkway at the top of that? Isn't that a walkway? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? They're letting you, you know, they're giving it to you. They're like, you could, if you just stuck your leg over this, you could jump in there. And for that guy, he's like, I've got no equipment in the way. I can clear this fence, no problem. I'm built like Gumby, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. If you just see, here's where he fucked up. If he set up his phone on a little tripod on that rock ledge right there, and that was the angle, and he just jumped in, and he, you know, put a little color grade on it, and he captured it on Instagram, you know, finally, uh, you know, living my dreams deep in Ibiza, travel Instagram accounts all over, that he would have at least potentially made um you know uh, a, a, enough in the way of attention that he could um he could garner money for his bail cuz now he's a sex offender <laughs> <laughs> right isn't that the rule if you're fucking if your wiener's out in a public place and a child is walking around wah, wah, uh-oh <laughs> you're on the naughty list <laughs> That's actually the naughty list. Kids that don't do their homework and pedophiles. <laughs> Santa dropped that one off at the Supreme Court. Hey, there you go. Ho, ho, ho. Here's everyone from the island. And he dropped the list off. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's, I think it's got a rough go, you know? You smoke the wrong kind of meth and then you wake up in jail naked and you go, I did what? And then you're pissed because now you're on the list and then you're like, I don't even remember doing that and I would have liked to remember doing that. <laughs> the other problem, though, is that he did it naked and that's weird. He didn't have to do that part. He could have did it in little shorts. Isn't that amazing? If he wore a Speedo, he'd have been fine. <laughs> but when he showed us whatever is going on there, he just confused everyone and they're like... I don't know, man. I think we gotta fucking book you for this. This is, this is rough, <laughs> dude. It's like uh, like a Photoshop eraser went to work between his legs. It just deleted whatever was there. <laughs> Damn, our guy. What? So what was the aftermath of this? Was he arrested? Yeah. And then what? Can we get his name? <laughs> Say his name. <laughs> Say his name. Imagine this is like it ends up in one of those, uh, you know, those YouTube videos where they hunt down a predator. <laughs> this is like in the middle of it. They're like, yeah, we had him locked up in the bait and tackle aisle. And then when we showed him the transcripts, he spazzed out. <laughs> we thought we had him already because he was naked, but then he took it one step further. Man who cannonballed into Bass Pro Shop Le Leeds. This is in Leeds? The UK. Let's scroll up. What's Bass Pro Shop Leeds? Oh, it's the name of the aquarium. Sorry. Leeds Aquarium. Whatever. Uh, he was on drugs. Damaged police SUV, Chief says. How did he damage an SUV? <laughs> okay. The 42-year-old man who jumped naked into the massive aquarium at <laughs> Bass Pro Shops in Leeds. It is in Leeds. But it's in... There's a Leeds in Alabama. My mind is blown. He told the police he was on drugs, the chief said one day. <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Sounds like an excuse. Sounds like something you say when you get arrested for doing something bad. I don't know. I was on drugs. George Aaron Owens of Starrett is facing multiple charges and could face more after his now viral swim. Okay, let's continue. It is obvious from the behavior of Owens and his admissions that he had been taking drugs that we must continue, what? That we must continue, remind the public of the dangers associated with their use. Oh, what? <laughs> They're just parading this guy around a school. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> this guy just went naked into the Bass Pro Shop fountain and all the kids are like, I didn't know you could skinny dip in there. 
The defendant did the defendant did not accept any responsibility for his actions, but he states uh, he remembers what occurred. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me, it was the meth, but it was very cool. <laughs> It's a bit of a roller coaster for me. <laughs> Scroll up, dude. What a... Oh, man. If this guy has kids or a family, you know, pray for him. <laughs> Did not accept any responsibility. That is awesome. Dude, who jumped in? <laughs> that was your mind. <laughs> Erwin declined to comment on whether mental illness was a factor in the incident. Uh, Police were called to the store at 8.03 p.m. Oh, man, wasn't that right before closing? He waited. <laughs> he really waited. Thursday, after receiving multiple calls of a vehicle hitting a pole in the parking lot. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> All right. A naked man running into the store <laughs> and a man swimming in the fish tank. <laughs> so was he driving naked? What an image, okay? All right. I want you to imagine this like a scene from like Fargo season one, okay? Uh, young, uh, you know, 19-year-old college kid. They're collecting the carts on the in the parking lot for the Bass Pro Shop, whatever. Um, and they clean up the entire parking lot, okay? There's carts everywhere, and they clean up the entire parking lot. And as they're wheeling the last cart into the stall, and they think they're done, they pull out their phone, and in the background, you just see two yellow lights. <laughs> Hits the pole, the kid turns, and here comes this man. <laughs> now, here's what I say to you. If, if you're the first line of defense, whether you're out in the, collecting parking lot carts or you're, you know, are you trying to stop him? I don't think you could, right? Anyway, officers heard a loud commotion and saw the man later identified as Owens in the nature display. Oh, he yeah, the, his nature was on display. <laughs> he was getting in theme. Now, see that you can't make that defense for him because he was naked running in. He was very loud and yelling obscene comments towards officers and others inside of the store, Irwin said. Owens continued to yell obscenities as officers entered the gate where he was doing cannonballs and diving. <laughs> <laughs> what if his obscenities were just, you're not my fucking dad. <laughs> cannonballs is funny. For him, was he not just doing cannons? <laughs> He doesn't have a lot of equipment down there. When that when that water hits the ass, it man, it must all go to the ass. Um, the man was taken into custody and is charged with public lewdness, disorderly conduct, assault in the second degree, resisting arrest, two counts of reckless endangerment, and two counts of criminal mischief. So no children were in the store. Okay. It was right after close. Right, right after clothes. Yeah, it, the store. Well, yeah, he didn't have eight. any clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody stop me! Right after clothes. How the fuck did he get in? He just barrel through the door. Because fun fact, for anyone looking to loot a Target, <laughs> those uh, sliding doors you can wrench them open sometimes. Depending on what you use, a car, a crowbar, a bat, you can get them open. <laughs> um, and by the way, I know there's a lot of TikToks going around about how Gen Alpha can't read on grade level. <laughs> Me too. Well, you know, that's a story, right? Our guy, naked at the Bass Pro. <laughs> Damn. Imagine you guys little wiener just stuck on a hook on his way in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Too much. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Speaking of trouble with the law, have you ever gotten a ticket for beating someone up and you're like standing in the courtroom and you think, I could fuck this judge up too. <laughs> <laughs> 
you ever been standing hearing your sentence and you think, I could take this bitch? <laughs> What's this guy's name? The secondary photo of him was insane. If you didn't know, this guy uh, was getting a sentencing um, in Las Vegas. I think he had like a domestic battery charge. A lot of other crazy stuff. This is a very deranged man. Um, And upon... There's this viral clip that went around of him upon hearing his sentencing, jumping the stand and attacking the judge. Now, what people weren't showing before that is his initial explanation of why he didn't believe that um, his probation should be denied. I believe he was, it was there to see if he could uh, get probation and it was denied, I believe something of that nature. And he was explaining how uh, he was doing better and he is someone who strives to do better and has the capacity to be a good, a better person because ultimately that's what he um, he strives to be. <laughs> and then the judge goes, "Well, looking at the charges here, I don't think so." And her words were, "I think you need a taste of something else." And then I think he goes, "You bitch." <laughs> <laughs> and then he does exactly what he was not supposed to do. <laughs> Hold on, my proctologist is calling. Sorry, gang, what's going on? Oh, yeah, let me have a look. Let me have a look-see here. Sorry. I forgot to look at my diagram. Oh, my phone is on fire. Look at your ass. Look at your ass. Sorry. My ass looks good. What was I saying? This guy beating up the judge? Oh, yeah, then um, then they had this follow-up picture because the judge, peep how hard ass this is. The judge gets jumped by this dude, and she says, I want him back in court immediately (laughs) and um so they brought him back in court and look what they had to do this is crazy and all the tweets around this were hilarious like oh they're taking him straight to arkham asylum and you know (laughs) i don't know why they gave him the olympic powder bags for his hands i feel like that is gonna encourage him to just go crazy you know (laughs) <laughs> Could you imagine that? He's just got fucking weightlifting powder in there, and he's just like, all right, let's go. <clears throat> That's a nice uh, nice belt he's got there. I think I've seen that at Zara. <laughs> That's what, that's what uh, millennial women were wearing in um, about 2014 in the club. That's what you uh, draped your dress with. Like, oh, my God, this guy got this new dress from Express. What's a nice accessory? <laughs> this right here. Anyway, yeah, so that was a crazy clip. Uh, dude punches a judge. See, it's, it's, people think about fighting law enforcement, right? You might think about punching a police officer, but you never think about, uh, you know, man, what if I just jammed the um, court reporter's uh, typewriter right now? What if I just walked over there and poured hot coffee on that thing and this case never existed? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that kind of dangerous? They just have one person doing uh, Twitch clips for the whole case. <laughs> Shouldn't it be multiples? Shouldn't it be like an army of, of, of goofballs there just typing away? Also, those keyboards, super silent. They should be selling that shit on TikTok. Don't wake your parents while you want to play Fortnite till 7 in the morning. <laughs> This is awesome. This is like when I got to do open mics uh, in hookah lounges for just the bartender. It's great. Because there's no one here besides the live studio audience. There's no one here. Speaking of jail cells and rats, I did see this Reddit post and it did make me uh, uh, laugh. A girlfriend won't act like a rat in the shower for me. (laughs) Uh, Peep this headline. My, this guy's a a 21-year-old male, girlfriend, 19 female, refuses to act like a rat in the shower for me. For background, my girlfriend and I have been dating for over a year now, and I love when she does random and quirky things. (laughs) 
Like when I'm kissing her on the nose and she wants to go run in her wheel, I'm like, babe, I have cheese for you. I have always found them funny and delightful. Oh, fucking hell. Is this a real person? Can't be, right? I've always found them funny and delightful. All right? It's not a, this person doesn't have a, a partner. <laughs> this person's alone, right? One time I managed to convince my girlfriend to act like a rat when we were showering together, similar to this gif. All right, let's have a look at the rat showering. <laughs> I mean, come on. Where did it learn this? <laughs> this is insane. How did they get it to do this? Is this rat just suffering? It's like, get it off, get it off. It would, no, but it would just run at that point. He's upright. Is this Five Nights at Freddy's? Like, how did they get him to do this? The two-handed rub towards the end of the clip is what's really compelling. I would just kind of, you know, just that. He's getting the back and the stomach. Some of you got a father that showers like this. The only part that's really not human-like is when he's rubbing his uh, big rat face. <laughs> but other than that, this feels pretty, you know, one-to-one. -one. I think this is an easy improv request. All right, let's jump back. Now, I know you're having fun listening to all this uh, psychotic rambling, but the truth is you're not going to get all of it. In fact, if you want the full hour, you're going to have to head over to tmgstudios.tv. Uh, we got the whole hour up over there, um, and that's because, you know... <laughs> I really get into it in the second half. You thought the first half was bad. The second half, you know, gets a little racial. 10% <laughs> off for diarrhea does not feel like a good deal. That's condescending as shit. I punch him right in his little nuts. <laughs> you know, I wasn't really on board with the crank call, but I'm doing one punchline, I'm getting out of here. This feels, this feels awful. <laughs> Head on over to uh, teamgstudios.tv to get the full hour. And if you're not going to do that, well, we'll see you next week with actual guests, full-length podcast. And then the week after that, it might be another bit of psychotic rambling. And then the week after that, it may or may not be one of our white whales of guests. And he's definitely white, but he's also a white whale. And uh, if he pulls through, I mean, that will be extremely epic. <laughs> All right, everyone, watch Attack on Titan on dubs. It's better. Good night.